Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play Nemesis Lockdown. This is a turn-based digital board game slash horror game, and it's pretty damn scary. We can play as the janitor or as the sentry, so obviously I'm going to be playing as the sentry, so let's go. Because who would want to play as the janitor? Come on. And this is a really scary game. Like, I, I've gone through all the tutorials. I haven't played the real game because with horror games, I prefer to uh, get sort of like the real experience. But this game is very complicated, so I had to go through the tutorials by myself because if I just jumped in, it would just, just not be interesting. All right, so here we are. So on the left top, you have um, your objective. So we have two objectives. We can either try to find the Lyra. So what is this game about? You are locked down in a certain place and there are intruders, enemies, monsters that are pretty damn dangerous and they will probably kill you. And you are trying to stay away from them, except us apparently, because what we want is we want to get larvas before it evolves so that we can learn about it. So we need to, we want to get infected we want either us or any of other people in the game. This game can be also played as single as multiplayer, but we will be playing it as single player. So either us or anybody else we know, we want them to get infected by the larva. Second option, second quest would be to try to send a signal from the transmitter control room and gain knowledge. So knowledge, you gain knowledge by learning about the monsters, about enemies. So and and then once you have the your quest so either we get infected by the larva or we um go gain the knowledge and send the signal we need to escape there are three ways to escape in this game let me show you in the contingency room yes you can uh sort of launch yourself out of the space pcr to the css you can hide in an isolation room or you can hide in a bunker and here on the bottom, you can see our current chances of survivors. So right now we know, so there will be con there will be a final event at the end of the game, a contingency, and we don't know which one yet, but we can learn through playing the game. And so we want to pick the, the sort of escape mechanism that will survive that. So right now it looks like the CSS is the best. Up here, you can see the number of turns. There are 15 turns until the game ends. Within these 15 turns, you have to... Uh, do your quest and get the hell out. These things are CSS effects. So if you get into the CSS room and you put yourself into the right pod, there are multiple pods and you hit the right pod. And this effect is that your pod gets activated. You will survive. There can also be an effect that all CSS fails and you will get injured in your little pod or whatever else. Uh, these blue things are energy failures and, and everything else is fine. Here we are. Here we have our cards. The cards, you kind of use them kind of not. It's kind of interesting. And here we can see what's around. So we could move to some of these other rooms and we could also try to craft equipment, which can I do that? Mm, I do not have card for it. Mm, it's unfortunate. Okay, I, I don't have the right components to do this. Well, unfortunate, that's okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the map and we are right here. We are in the sentry room and that's where we are. So what we want to do is we want to find some larvas. We don't know where they are but we know that there are four larvas total. And we want to be moving to a couple of different rooms. So we want to find the uh, cargo sending system room. So we know that one of these, so it, these one points, one of these would be the, the cargo sending system room. So we would like to go to one of these. So we definitely want to go through this direction now. I am in the powered room on section one, so this is the highest, uh, sorry, this is the top level, like the closest to the ground. And, oh, we could all, uh, they, 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 this is where the rower is, so actually we could just go into the rower and run away, but we wouldn't fulfill our objective, so it's not pointless. We can go down either through the elevator, so we have to go back here, which is currently powered and would allow me to go down here, or I can go to the staircase. The staircase are in the dark which means that it's dangerous to go through the staircase, but it would be faster. We're gonna go through the staircase because I wanna show you stuff. So uh, just to clarify, the staircase are just one of the rooms. We don't necessarily know which one. So it's like a three-way 
chance. Oh, staircase. Yes. I'm going to go to the staircase. So I will move into the staircase. In order to move from one room to another, you have two options. You can use a standard move or a careful move. Standard move will cost you one card, any card, but it will they will roll a no noise token, which is what I'm going to show you. So we're actually going to, we don't need to stun a character, so we're going to play this. And now a noise token will be rolled. Mm, we got danger, that's the worst thing we could have gotten. So typically it rolls a number and onto that point it will place this little noise token. And if you get two noise tokens, it will alert an intruder. Now in our case, we got danger, which means every single one of these got activated. But it looks like we can make it through. I'm going to get rid of this interruption. I don't think I need that, that card. We also just do one. So we rolled and now onto, onto place two, which is here, there will be a no, noise token place. And we are now in decon room. So what can we do here? We can decontaminate in case we're contaminated with presumably, no, the larva is in, oh, okay. So decontamination, yes. What is decontamination? Uh, in this game, you can get injured through light wounds and then eventually serious wounds. And if you get a serious wound, you might get contamination, which is a card down here that you can't use for anything. And so here you could deco decontaminate from that. What I want to do is get an item. For that, you need to have a search card, which well, we don't have. Come on, game. Be a little, a little bit nice to me. This game is not going to be nice to you, like, ever. What is this? Oh, this room is not damaged. Okay, so we'll just uh, move around. We can, unfortunately, search because we don't have the right card. So we'll just continue moving, kind of explore what's around. I have... I don't need quarantine, so I'm going to pay that. And hopefully we can find something where we can do stuff. Ooh, from now on, okay, we, we got a slime. Every silence will be considered as a danger. Ooh, that's not great. So we are now in the decon room. So we could initiate self destruct, definitely not what we want. We can't get an item, unfortunately, but we could use a computer, maybe. So. Mm. so we can use a computer because this section does not have power on. If you look at the map, we are now in the red area, which doesn't have a power, power room, power on. But we at least discovered where the decon room is and where the cooling system room is. So this is where the computer is useful because you could figure out which CSS does what when. Uh, alert room is pretty cool because we could also peek at contingencies to see which one happens. So that actually seems like that would be a good idea. Uh, I think I'm going to go into the alert room next. So let's just go that way and then uh, we'll use both of our cards and we'll deal with, with it next turn because we need better cards because we don't have any search cards or anything like that. So here we can pick in which corridor we want to place noise. So we're going to put it up there. And we'll see what happens next. So we finished our first round. It's now next turn. So something is going to happen. Uh, so there was a power shortage in the first floor. Larva, some larva evolved into an adult intruder. And that's the end of our transmission. Okay. So what can we do here? Okay, so we could peek at a contingency. We could move to other rooms. And we could uh, change the contingency procedure. So let's just first peek at, at a contingency. I want to know what can happen. Okay, I mean, they have the search item. So we could go back to that original room and search there and I might actually do that. So we know that a contingency kill and all in isolation is not going to happen. So that means that only only available contingencies are save all, kill all with knowledge less than five in isolation or bunker. This is twice and kill all without signal in isolation or bunker. So we now know if you want to save ourselves, we either need to go to CSS or we need to have knowledge higher than five, which is actually great because we know that one of our causes is send signal and gain eight knowledge. So we could focus on this instead of the larva and then we would be safe in that specific room. Now I'm going to go straight back to where we were. Wait, uh, this room had a place I could search, but it's actually two rooms back. So we might just be better off just moving further and hoping that there is a room here with something I can search. So let's let's just keep moving. Let's just go. Don't want to lose. Oh, so repair sounds actually pretty good. So I'm going to lose one search card and keep one repair card because sometimes a room can be damaged. Ooh. 
Oh, this is a bad room. What is here? Oh, yes, yes. I can search. Search. Let me search. I want some good stuff. Please give me good stuff. We can either search for military items like weapons, healing medical items, or technical items. This will allow you to repair rooms, put out fires, or we won't. I'm going to take military stuff. Ooh, so we could check another contingency or we could ignore darkness. This is pretty huge because especially in combat, if you are in darkness in combat, you will get a lot of negative effects. So we definitely want to go have um, something to, to defend against. But actually, I think we're going to grab the glow stick. Ooh, but it will give me... Uh, I'll grab I'll grab this because we get that ignore item effect which is pretty huge so anything else we can do in this room um technical corridors entrance the noise placed in the technical corridors are present in every room with the technical corridor entrance okay so let me just keep checking the map to see what else we've got here so this is a transmitter controller room we don't really know much about so let's let's move there uh, just because we we could do this send single signal thing, which would be useful. So let's keep moving. And we'll just move to the last room and then we'll move on to the next round. Ooh, this is this is a great room. Will it not give me an animation? Oh, it didn't give me an animation. I did a tutorial which gives you like a really scary animation of, of moving within a room with an egg. Okay, interesting. Intruder fire damage. Event code name Kickstopper. Interesting. So, looks like they're right there. Maybe. So the room is out of story. Remember, we had that repair room card. If a room is just destroyed, you can't use the effects that the room has, essentially. Okay, we definitely need to start searching this egg. So we're going to steal an egg. And we're going to pay this facility tour and this rest car for, for it. It's not giving me animations, come on. Okay. We can get inside a knowledge or the intruder's carcass. Uh, you, you will... I'm going to grab this objective. Okay, I, I made an intruder. Well, I was trying to steal the egg. Yeah, so I, I'm not sure why it's not giving me animations because in my test game, I went to an egg and gave it like a really cool animation. There's a larva! There's a larva! Okay, how, how, how do I give me a larva? What, what do I do with larva? Come on. Uh, how do I... To become infected with larva, you must be attacked by one of them and you can also become infected by an infecting the host attack card. Do I have that? I don't have that. So what are we gonna do here? It only has one HP, so the problem is if I kill it, I won't succeed. So I need to get infected. So I'm just gonna, could I steal another egg? No, I'm, I'm in combat, so I can So we're gonna be able to gain some knowledge with the eggs, but I can't use that now. What am I gonna do? I, I, need, to, I need the larva to kill me. Um, Okay, this is called slightly difficult. I mean, I, I feel like I need to fight it, but if I fight it, I might not be able to get the thing that I want. I have one light wound, so maybe it already attacked me. It's a little bit... Oh, no. Okay, so the reason why I got light wound because I'm in a fire. So I'm just going to pass a turn. I will get another light wound from being in a fire. But hopefully this thing will attack me. Uh, and we want to discard the demolition card. Come on, Larva. Hit me, Larva, please. Attention. Intruder movement detected. Hit me, Larva. Come on, Lara! Yes! Infect me, yes, please! I need you. Come. I'm waiting for you. Join me. Come on. Uh, egg protection. Sure, let's ignore darkness. 
Sovak. Come on, did it hit me? Am I in? Did I get infected? What do you mean attack not interested? I'm very interested. There is a queen right next to me? What? We're gonna die. Oh man. Yes, yes, I'm infected. Yes, good, 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 good. We, we made it, guys. Infection, down. Now we gotta survive. We also have three wounds, so we are in serious trouble. I, I finished this. Am I not infected? Talk to me. I have a serious wound, which means I can only draw up to four cards. The lava is in your, is in your body. Most It won't hurt you, but some in-games... Yes, 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 yes. Great. We got it. We have a queen and an adult here. So we are dead. So I am going to immediately run away because if I try to fight, we're just going to be super donezo. Now, I'm assuming that the elevator is not powered, so we just gotta get the hell out. We'll go into the contaminated room. Like, run. I mean, I could show you what combat looks like. Ooh, we have a stunning character. Okay, let's, let's, okay, in that case, let's just run this card. Let's scare an intruder. Can I scare the queen away? I want you to move to the elevator. And we'll use, I, I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll use this car to do it. Ha! Scared the queen. So how the combat works is you have this enemy. And the enemy has an HP. And how much HP it has, it rolls before your attack. So it has like something from 2 to 5. So I can do an attack, but I lost my only gun because of this attack. So uh, we, we could do a melee attack, which would give us a wound. So I'm just going to run straight away. But we successfully... Um, and we'll get rid of this interruption card. Good. No! We got a danger card, which means it followed me. Leave me alone! Man. I, I have to keep running. Could I try a careful? Let's try a careful move. Now I can only play one card. I don't wanna... Let's play the repair room card. No. You're always counted as being in darkness. Okay, thank God. It's not coming. Good job. No! <laughs> we are dead. Okay, we're gonna have to start fighting. But I don't... I don't actually have anything to really fight. Except for them, but we, we're getting a lot of wounds, so if we just keep going, we might get killed. Um, I can't even attack any- well, I can. I'm gonna attack because I think uh, it will just keep following us. You did one damage to Every time you do damage to it, there's a chance it will run away. But we did get that contamination card now. I think I'm gonna die, guys. <laughs> Which is normal in this game. This is a difficult day game. But, um... Final check initialized. Are we dead already? Stage one. Rounds. You have been killed by an adult. Stage two. Extermination. The corporation forces wiped out the facility. Stage three, contingency. Save all crew members. Stage five, objectives. You lost, maybe next time. I mean, I was contaminated. I just didn't finish the game. Okay, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, write it on the comments. I can click on the right to watch some other games that you found on this channel. See you there. Bye-bye.